After a little bit of digging, I found that no one has KO'd with every single pit move. So today, let's show them some love and let's KO with every single pit move. Here we go. I will say real quick that GIMPs definitely count as KOs for this video. For anybody who's not familiar, a GIMP is an interruption of your opponent's recovery and that causes them to fall to the bottom blast zone. That's what a GIMP is and they definitely count. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, I'm not going for up B. Uh, it's impossible. I, I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna try. I don't really see the point. Well, there's back care for you already. Boom. Yeah, up B, it has no hitbox. So it does no damage. And did I just get down here? Oh my goodness, let's go. This is a good game. It deals no damage. It deals no knockback. It doesn't even have a win box. If it had a win box, I'd go for it for sure. But that's the only thing, man. I got two aerials down so far, which I would say Pitt's aerials are probably his best set of moves. I mean, his neutral area is, is his best move for sure. Next game. I feel good against Bowser as Pitt, man. Against heavies in general, I would say. The only thing about Bowser is that I'm probably not gonna get any regular A attack KOs because he's so heavy. I can so gimp with uh, arrow. I'm gonna try that, I'm gonna try that. No way, I hit him with Nair. I footstooled him, then I hit him with Nair. No way. <laughs> We're counting it, boys. That's gotta be the funniest way to kill with Nair, I swear. Oh, so I'm gonna catch his jump. No! Take a nice percent right now. Okay, forward throw here. Okay, forward air. Perfect. I could so just beat up this Bowser if I wasn't going for this challenge. Excuses. John's. <gasps> I gimped him! Yes! Ooh! Yes! I got the arrow! Let's go! All right, good progress so far. Now we're up against a different character with a strong projectile. Let's see if we can go for the down B. Bye, have a great time. I'm saving you, dude. I'm saving you. Ain't no way I'm gonna let you SD on me. That was a good save. Do you see that? Okay, up air here. Yes, sir. We got up air. Let's go. What about that save, though? Play of the game. <laughs> Did that shield poke? Let's go. Oh, man. Maybe the missile will work. Yes! Oh, they just keep spamming it, so I'm, I'm gonna spam down B. They keep doing that. Fourth throw? Oh, they DI'd out. It still didn't KO. My goodness. Down smash. Oh, what a parry! All right, here we go. We're making great progress so far. Come on. I really want to get the down B against the Samus. That works. Let's go. It wasn't even fully charged. Okay, I, I'm thinking either a weak attack, like a tilt, or maybe a, uh, a throw. Or just, ah, oh man, or just win the game. There's still plenty to plenty to do. I can still kind of play normal, you know what I mean? I don't have to play all scrub now. But that F smash was free. I had to take that. Or throw is not going to be too bad. I mean, there we go. I knew she'd land with an aerial. I had to throw out the side B. Okay, what else can I go for here? Maybe dash attack? This might be a while before dash attack KOs. Go for forward throw here. Fourth throw, for sure. Yeah, she went past the ledge with up B, thank goodness. At this point, I decided to go to training to do some testing. The moves that I was concerned about the most are up tilt, down tilt, and down throw. Up tilt probably being the weakest. First, I tried 250%, wasn't even close. I tried 700, which wasn't enough. Then I tried 750, which looked like it was enough. And I landed on 725, which was barely enough. I decided that my best bet is probably sudden death settings. So I set the opponent and my own percent at 300 and it wasn't even close. Same thing with down tilt and down throw. At this point, I started to realize just how hard this challenge was going to be. But we keep going. I'm definitely worried about up tilt, down tilt, and down throw now. I knew that they'd be tough, but uh, I didn't think they'd be near impossible. But they're not impossible. Up throws, very close, 200%. It's kind of stalled. It's kind of staled out right now. 
210% though, we take that up throw. I thought he might give up. No! <laughs> no, the SD. Oh. And now we're up against DK, which means that we really have to rack up the percent to get the kills with the rest of our moves. There's a way to get Tipper uh, Epsil, I think. Nope. Yes, that's it. Let's go. Okay, dash attack. I'm thinking dash attack is the next one. Yes, sir. I said it and it happened. The only other not that difficult move that we can go for would be back throw. But even then, he's probably going to have to be at like maybe 250%. Do arrows off stage. So he gets tired of it. Oh, the roll back to ledge day one to back throw. <laughs> Yes, we got it. We have jab. We can go for jab. We're really going to have to rack up the percent. What do you think is better to go for? Like uh, just the one, two, three jabs? Like that? Or the rapid jabs like this? Oh, definitely rapid jabs. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? Yes. Oh, I just mashed it. I just mashed it, but it worked. Three more moves to go, the hardest ones as mentioned before. And just to put this into perspective, it took me about 45 minutes to KO with every other move and about three hours to KO with the remaining three. Don't worry though, let's get right to it. This is it, right here, I have some rage. Oh man! This is it, come on. I killed! I kill with down tilt! Woo! Yes! Oh, what a trade! <laughs> that was a weird way to lose, but who cares? Just to save on time, we're doing it. Three minutes. Omega form. Let's go. Okay, guys, it's time. Three minute rule set. Plus, we're playing a Marth player, which uh, they can struggle to KO sometimes, so. Yes! Oh, I got that stock! Let's go! Okay, I can't die. I can't die. Ugh. Oh, if he got tipper there, I would have died. Yes! Okay, we're going overtime. Let's go. And he doesn't have any projectiles. Thank goodness. No, I had down throw! No! Come on! Okay, here we go, guys. Three minute rule set. It's time. Okay, there we go. Okay, we need tied stocks or me up a stock. That way, if, if I'm up a stock and it comes down to the last, you know, 10 seconds, then I will, uh, I'll go ahead and SD. Get to overtime. Get the down throw KO. It's coming down to it. Yes, 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 he has deed. Okay, come on. Down throw. Yes, yes, we got down throw. That's what I'm talking about. Before we move on to the last move, there's something else I want to show you. If you've watched videos on my channel before, you might be familiar with something I like to call the fear. It's whenever I KO somebody without even touching them. And this happened on several occasions during this challenge. Thus, I present to you all the times that I KO'd with the fear. Uh, I didn't even hit him with anything. Helicopter, helicopter. Oh no. <laughs> I KO'd with mash. What the heck? Well, I can do back throw. Oh, no way did I just KO. Ooh, no I way. I immediately he regret this decision. Frick. It didn't happen. Crap, I tried to save him. Oh my gosh. 
Why? Okay, here we go. Up tilt time, boys. He's got no. projectiles, though. No. No. Why did he do that? Okay, three minute timer again. Come on. All right, we're here. We're almost there. Do the uh, 10 second countdown. Okay, I actually did lose the stock. Okay, I kind of made it look like an accident, too. Yes! Woo! We did it! Yes! We used Nair to get the up tilt. Yes, guys! But that was the only way. Sudden death, wait for the camera to zoom in and then go for it. I mean, that was the only way. I have yet to see any other Smash content creators KO with every pit move. And now I see why. It's because of those three moves. I'm beyond proud to be the first. I'm feeling like Dark Pit has to be next. I hope to give it a try. But in the meantime, why don't you go ahead and click this video? I think you'll like it. And I will see you there. Take care.